know for a fact that men struggle with this item because I see it almost daily, shorts. Now it is essential that you know which shorts to wear as you age. The following four varieties do not work for guys over the age of 30. Number one, cargo shorts. They're too baggy, too long, and truly no one on earth needs that many pockets unless you're hitting the trails. Number two, basketball shorts. So these are too baggy, shiny, and way too floppy to wear off the court. Number three, short shorts. These are an instant no-no. Believe it or not, there is such a thing as revealing too much, guys. Number four, last but not least, jorts. No matter how many thrift-loving influencers try to make them happen, they're never going to happen. Your go-to shorts should be flat, front, chino, shorts. They're fitted, but not too tight. Hey, lady from Whoville, let me explain to you why guys wear a variety of baggy shorts. Now, the short, short ones, I totally agree with. You shouldn't wear them. They're fucking weird looking like trying to expose yourself when you're out in public. The other three, I'm currently wearing cargo shorts right now. Do you know why I'm wearing cargo shorts? Because I fucking put them on this morning. All the other pairs of shorts, the G, uh, the jorts, the jean shorts, the cargo shorts, and the basketball shorts, which by the way, I own all three, have one thing in common. Because guess what, lady? You don't have this body part. So in the summertime, you don't have to worry about your ball sack sticking to your fucking leg in the middle of summer. If you're in America, it's 85 degrees. If you're in Canada and it's 40 degrees, your balls stick to your leg. All right, the chino shorts, the thin shorts that aren't too thin, but still real thin, they don't work for everybody. They don't work for me. I'm like a complete douche. Now imagine her mind, I should get like one of those stupid fucking uh, Ken doll haircuts and clean shaven and just look like a fucking doofus. Remember all that experimenting you did in your 20s? Well, I don't know, it's really messed up. Super gay. Unless you happen to own a motorcycle now, your biker jacket should be retired promptly. You like that collarless look? I'd recommend seeking out a bomber jacket in a color like navy, camel, or olive green. Now these look much more sleek and understated than a loud leather number. And another option would be a trucker jacket, which you can get in leather, suede, denim, and more. Now this is like the biker jacket's grown up, sophisticated sibling. Oh, so on your 29th birthday, make sure you throw out your motor motorcycle jacket if you don't have a motorcycle yet, but get a trucker jacket, even if you're not a trucker and make sure you wear a bomber jacket now for people who look like me if you've never seen a person wearing a black bomber jacket it doesn't usually go over well especially if there's orange on the inside bro what are you talking about man as just looking great on men of all ages now on to one of the most flip-flops anytime i hear the snack and squeak of flip-flops it's like a warning siren of bad style approaching now wearing huge bulky sports watches is doing you and your outfits no favors that bright red g-shock you love so much actually makes you look off-putting as you get older and instead of aging you down it makes you look a lot older than you are ah. Things you should not wear over 30 are watches like that that are versatile that if you're into athletics you should not wear them because somehow it won't make you look immature it'll make you look older because you're wearing a younger man's watch swatch with a leather metal strap is truly all you need to cover yourself on the timepiece front a belt is an essential menswear item but there are so many ways men in their 30s get it wrong <laughs> box buckle belt you know the kind i mean it's like a billboard for not knowing how to dress well <laughs> that i'm not a fan of athletic socks and a particular look that drives me crazy is when grown men wear athletic socks with sneakers and shorts hello are we back in middle school gym class shirt skin shirt skin shirt skin shirt yes i'm golden shirt skin Skin. A pair of low top sneakers, and there's no worse way to ruin their look than pairing them with some dingy white athletic socks. And also, when you pair them with the shorts, it just throws your proportions off and makes your legs look unnecessarily short and stumped. So toss those athletic socks in the garbage and invest in a couple of pairs of no-show socks. Never wear anything besides white socks with your sneakers. Dye makes your feet stink, it makes your socks stink, in turn it makes your shoes stink, in turn you have to get your shoes thrown out early, and then you're embarrassed to take them off around bronze. Not like her, Miss Hoover over here can fucking stick it. But there you go, fellas, there's some real advice for men dressing. If you've got a pair of eyes, but ripped and baggy jeans, they're back. 
and I couldn't be more ugh, disappointed. This is another one of those looks you can barely get away with in your 20s, but... What's up, baby boy? Yet another look that keeps tripping men up. Untucked dress shirts. Now, I know that the go-to going out look is generally a simple dress shirt with pants, which is fine. But what exactly is it that makes you forget to tuck those long shirt tails in? This just... I'm retarded. Yes, we heard it from another YouTube broad. We don't know how to dress. We should dress to impress women like her. We should all look the same. We should all look like nerds. We should all look like gay dudes. And if you're gay, there's nothing wrong with that. But for a lot of men, we dress for function. I don't, when I go shopping, go, I hope these shorts are going to impress this little woman. I buy shorts that are affordable, that are baggy, because I'm 6'3", weigh 250 pounds, and I have large fucking legs. And I buy what I want. I don't care if women don't like the way I dress. I wear flip-flops. I wear muscle shirts. I wear cargo shorts. I wear jorts. I wear whatever the hell I want. But here's the thing that I have that goes with every outfit. I have muscles. They go with whatever I want to wear. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell me I'm right. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me if you agree with it. Tell me if you're dressing a dork. Tell me if you're dressing how you want to dress. I'm out.